interesting start to his coaching stint with Shuja. The National Sevens head coach Kevin Wamboa is optimistic that the squad has all the ingredients to claw their way back into the World Rugby Seven series. A reporter, Elijah Oko, visited the team in one of their training sessions and now tells us more about Shuja's ambitions to regain a core status. The scenes that were witnessed in Twickenham during the London Sevens on the 21st of May are images the rugby fraternity and the whole country will forever remember. Kenya lost 12-7 to Canada in the relegation playoff final, losing their core status for the first time since getting promoted in 2004. The dreadful 14 minutes that condemned Shuja to the second tier of rugby sevens was a painful reminder that change is needed in the development of Shuja. We started when we were struggling with the finances. And that uh, took a toll mentally on, on the players. With Kenya Rugby Union getting a new chairman, change was inevitable. Damien McGrath, who was the coach in the 2022-23 season, amicably stepped aside. And KRU put their trust in local coach Kevin Blingombua as the head coach, with Louis Kisia as the assistant coach, Steve Sewe as the team manager, and Andrew Monde as the strength and conditioning coach. Ombo is confident that the technical bench has what it takes to be successful and is cognizant of the work that needs to be put in to change Shuja's fortune. Everybody is coming with some experience. Andrew is like um, most ex one of the most experienced players in the in the country and having him as an SNC, he's been there, he's done that. So he has something he's bringing to the table. Louis is somebody also who's been fantastic for, for Strathmore. Lamek has been, uh, he's been around for a long time. Wambua was initially given a short-term contract with the sole responsibility of ensuring Shuja qualify for the Olympics and against all odds, Shuja qualified to the surprise of many. The young and vibrant technical bench led a team with limited experience stunning South Africa 17-12 in the final of the Africa Cup, which was also the Olympic qualifier. Since taking charge, the team has played 12 games and have won all their games, including also winning the Safari Sevens in November. Um, most definitely now is when the real hard work starts uh, because the challenger is no easy task. Um, there are about 16 teams and every single team wants to go to the circuit. So for us, you know, this is the biggest, this is the big challenge before the biggest challenge, which is the Olympics, and we'll give it the, um, the attention that it deserves. The 34-year-old tactician is eager to change the manner in which Shuja approach games with great emphasis being put in improving the team's skill sets. So for us, it's just improving the skill, the tackle technique, the catch and release, um, uh, the speed, uh, speed of the ball, the rucks. Those are the areas that I really think that were kind of neglected. Uh, and those are the foundations that will be able to make you have that tactical and that uh, te technical focus as, as you play. For every team, there's a leader, the captain who he or she epitomizes what the team is all about. But for Shuja, the setup is a little bit different. They have a co-captaincy arrangement where we have Vincent Onyala and Tony Omondi at the same level. But why? It's something I've picked up um, from other sports. I usually watch a lot of sports and how people manage uh, teams. It's something I picked up and it's something that we've always had a conversation about doing. We've always had um, a captain and two co-captains, but this time around we decided to just have two, two co-captains and not have an assistant captain and just see if they can balance, uh, balance the roles. Ojala is able to bring the, 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 the hard part of the forwards together and to be able to form that unit that we want them to drive. And Tony is able to bring the unity that we want the backs and the harmony in the backs to be able to, to come in together with the forwards. My captain used to do most of the things and now for the team, you find some things were, were not going as well as we wanted them to go. And now having co-captains, we can brainstorm and have a sober decision that will guide the team. You can't be a captain and uh, not being uh, able to perform as, as required. So you'll find that some of the things you, some, some of the time maybe you're trailing, I mean, you're the only person who's uh, I'd say sober enough in the pitch to to be able to uh, urge the the rest of the teammates to at least be present in the moment and just keep on working. A total of 14 players are yet to play for Shuja outside Africa, which is a great area of concern. Tony Omondi, Vincent Onyala, Haman Humwa, Kevin Wekesa, John Okoth, George Oro, Brian Tanga, 
Floyd Wabwire and Denis Abukuse are the only players with World Rugby 7 Series experience, but the coaches have confidence in the team's overall abilities. I can say that there's a good vibe that the boys respect each other and they bring out the best of, out of each other and they are very angry and um, that's good for us heading into the Challenger Series because they really want to get back to the circuit. Judging it from the time I was in this team, this is a proper team. From the skill-wise, from the understanding of the game, they are in a better place than us because they are very young and the, the understanding of the game is at a tough very level and they have been exposed to the highest level of the game. So I see them going far, they will be doing better than some of the teams that we had in the future because from the skill set and from the way they play and the way they have been exposed, I see them being successful than, than any other team that Kenya has ever had. It's a group that they are eager to learn, they are eager to represent the nation and uh, having been wounded be, uh, back then, it's, it's, it's now trying to fight for that second chance. Shuja will kick off the World Rugby Challenger Series on the 12th of January with the team focused on attaining a top four finish in the three challenger legs in order to finish in the top four places and qualify for the new promotion and relegation playoff competition at the seventh grand final in Madrid. Despite the inexperience of the current Shuja team, the desire, the willingness and the ambition to get back to the HSBC 7 Series is definitely there. If the team gets the required support from all quarters, then the dream to get back to the series will definitely come to pass. Elijah Oko, NTV Sports, RFUEA Grounds.